Hello, we are back. So, last time you guys uh, decided to set north, head past the mountains, go to the town of Swallowbeak that has been missing its packages lately. Um, that we're supposed to go to Akron because Swallowbeak is this little trading outpost of a town. Uh, and you said, you know, maybe if you ran into a couple orcs on, on the way, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And you guys went up the mountain. You uh, fought some really spiky boars. But then also you uh, found some footprints, decided not to follow them. Instead, you decided to keep going, pushing on ahead. But then when you saw some tracks going off the road, you followed it, found a cabin in the woods, walked into this cabin, fell down, entered a Candyland-esque world where there were pasta people fighting uh, <laughs> gingerbread men. Um, gingerbread men had taken over, and then you fought a gingerbread dragon. And you uh, escaped this little Candyland, to uh, which point you guys made it to uh, made it out, and you arrived inside this lodge where you had seen this woman with this, you know, like, almost skeletal mask, big fluffy coat, uh, sitting in an armchair by a fire, waiting for you. This is the same lodge, I imagine, correct? Yeah, just the inside, but yeah. Okay. yeah. So as you oh, oh my god, we're... Yeah. We've, we've been portaled out of Candyland. And now there's a woman in front of us, I say, uh, using... Don't we have fucking telepathy or something? You can cast message, can't you? Uh, yeah, casting message to <laughs> to, to both of my <laughs> party was with one finger each, like, little, uh, little finger guns. Shots, yeah. <laughs> was that all your, uh, your charade? Hmm? Why, well, yes, you... Have, one does have to protect themselves. As you like, take. That must have been around. some pretty powerful magic. As one takes over, look around. You know, it does look like the inside of a fairly generic cabin, though. It is quite a bit larger, but it does go give off that like very generic like cabin in the woods type vibe. You know, made of wood. It's got that little like fire in the back. All that she's next to. But this, like, su really sweet smell, like, fills the air. I mean, you um, just had an alarm or, you know, some yeah. form of, uh... They, like, is that some dimension you created that? Are those, are those people real? Like, what does that happen? Well, I think, my friends, that we have encountered the Witch of the North. Well, that is the name they gave down there, isn't it? In Ekron. So. <laughs> <laughs> they do love giving us those names, making us to make us more villain-esque, don't they? Well, does their um, villainizing have any merit? Depends. Are you here to kill me, or are we here to? Well, kill that me? would depend on whether the villainizing has merit, wouldn't it? I've just lived alone here and minded my own business. You, the Acronians, are the ones that have consistently made attempts to come and kill me and my sisters. Interesting. Well, your sisters seem pretty chill, so we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, you also. Probably because we uh, yeah invaded your home as well, but yeah, we've met both your sisters. We have, I see, and we're I see. on good terms with the both of them. Well, I'm good terms Satsulu. with the one of the forest, I guess. This is Neri and Tobias and Zakun. I see. And this Zakun of yours, what kind of dog is this? <laughs> uh, the dragon, you know, and you notice like this whole time, Zakun is like really oddly like staring at her, like trying to place her, um, as if something's like 
off and, and and you've noticed like her gaze has honestly been on Sukun as well like trying to place him as well as if something is not quite clicking but something is there like there's some sort of deja vu trying to click in the head like why is this familiar hey Sukun, are you seeing something over there Zakun just doesn't respond and just keeps staring. Mommy! Mommy! Hmm. So, why have you all decided to come to my home? Uh, Swallow Beak, I think is, is the name of the town, is uh, experiencing some troubles with their trade and we've been sent to rectify those issues um, in our capacity as problem solvers. Problem solvers. Adventurers always say they're here to solve problems, but they always have ulterior motives. Well, we're an open book. I guess we're also here to take out some orc camps, but that's kind of a secondary operation. And yeah, that's also definitely to... another problem. And why do you wish to kill these orc camps? There's a bounty on them. And who set this bounty? You or uh, the, the town of uh, the? Uh, well, Necronium. if we set the bounty, we would have just paid ourselves, wouldn't we? But uh... have you ever thought to wonder why the Acronians? set these bounties? Why is it always certain ones that they're hunting that they want gone and removed? Nope. Nope, I'm, I'm happy um, I'm happy dealing with the, the orcs given our previous interactions. Tobias kind of scratches his head. You know, I just kind of like to get paid for fighting things. So if you were told to go in, fight the monsters of the deep, would you fight them? So that was good money, huh? Yeah, I suppose. Probably. We could figure out a way to breathe underwater. If you were to kill your friend here, would you do it? No, probably no, not. Probably not. I mean, there's still some moralness to it, right? Like, there's a, there's a, a bounty on your head, but again, we, we're, we're, we're cool with all the witches so far. The orcs... Done my, yeah, the, the biggest dirty. bounties, if anything, are on on the head of you and your sisters. But we haven't um, we haven't undertaken those. Don't take us for mindless killers. So then, why do you not question why there are bounties for these orcs? Well, we asked initially why there were, and they were raiding um, trade caravans back in the day, and then they like nearly killed. Well, they did kill one of our party members, and ever since then, we've sort of had like a blood feud with them. Have you ever wondered about why they are attacking all these, uh, as you say, uh, caravans and and Ekronians and and all this? Yes, I assume that it is their way of life. That's quite the assumption to make. Well, they've given me no evidence to the contrary yet. So, have you spoken to them? Uh, briefly, yeah, a few times when they were, um, like, killing my friend. I see. And also when they were, like, allied with some evil vampires as well. We we briefly spoke to them. Um, so yeah. When they, when they were hoarding, um, artifacts, uh, important to my race and religion. Um. Were there orcs at the volcano? No, there were okay. orcs at the cave, the sea right. cave. Yes. So, so yeah, they seem like pretty bad actors generally. If you have some, some information to the contrary, we'd be happy to entertain um, your musings. Well, you know, but when you, you've lived many a year, you see people come and go. You hear various things, you experience various things, and as such, the Acronians, I would say are trying to claim land that isn't theirs and eliminate anyone who can argue against with their beliefs. Hasn't that been like what all societies have done for the entire history of time? 
Of course. But have yeah. you ever... It's always interesting to see who the land originally believed to, uh, belonged to in Akron. Who, who did it belong to, if, you, uh, if you're so knowledgeable on the topic? Well, from what I remember long ago, there was quite the powerful orc who led a tribe down in that region, and he was pushed out. Sounds like he wasn't that powerful. Well, there's always someone stronger, isn't there? Mm -hmm. You've always faced a rather difficult challenge at some point. As you say, at one point, your friend had died to one of these orcs, so there's always someone stronger than you. Yep. I'm sure you've met others that have potentially put the scare in you that they could always come and potentially kill you. Yep. And that's why we don't take their land. I don't know if you know anything about my race, Ms. Witch of the North, but um, I'm somewhat of an anomaly in that I um, I don't uh, undertake evil acts for the purpose of simply undertaking them mm -hmm. anymore. Um, you know, I sort of learnt, learnt uh, skewed as it is, um, to implement a little bit of a moral compass in my actions, thanks to um, thanks to my friends. But uh, your moral stance is, um, especially for <laughs> the period that we're living in, uh, very left leaning. At, at, at this point, you start to hear like heavy footsteps coming from a separate room. Uh, with this sweet smell that you uh, wafted earlier uh, coming closer and closer to you, to which point you guys see uh, Gallic coming in with a tray of fresh uh, and... Yeah, we knew it. We fucking knew it. Uh... Um, and you just hear him shout, uh, saying, For my sweet, some sweets. <laughs> oh, it's like that. Okay. And as he proceeds to see you all standing, he says, Oh, I did uh, not know that we would have guests. Uh, especially ones that I knew. Um, Hello, Golik. Is she making you all stand? You know there's a couch right there. Um, We're having like a bit of a tense moral argument right now about whether we're just in our slaughter of orcs. Um, oh. Well, you yeah. Know. It always makes you feel better. As he, like, hands you a piece from the tray. Um, I guess I take it. He proceeds to, like, hand each of you a piece of bread from the tray. And, and Zakun in the mouth, too. Uh, thank you. Well, um... A out of game, do you guys have anything to say? Or am I just... Rambling. Um, I, I was gonna say something to the guy, to the man's. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I sit around not waiting for permission. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, look, you, you, you got a man, right? Uh, he, he works in the city. You don't have a problem with that. I don't, I don't see why we're, we're being questioned so much. I always find it interesting to ones that don't immediately attack. You know why that may be. Quite used to those adventurers immediately attacking me, trying to get their bounty. Is that? Oh um, no! Nah, I think and your sisters like would get mad at us. Yeah, I think your sisters would would get mad at us. Yeah. You just see Gallic um giving her some more bread and like heading back. He says, uh. If you need me, I I go make uh, some sweets. Uh, have fun. <laughs> um. So then, you say that you've met those stronger than you. You're interested in what's going on. Tell me, what have you learned? Maybe I can, since you seem to be. A bit more knowledgeable and a bit more willing to talk. Let's talk about what's going on. 
Um, well, okay. mainly we're looking into those big skeletons of creatures that you and your sisters killed <coughs> um, a bunch of years ago. And that, uh, I forget his name, Phobos or something like that. Uh, weird guy with a big nose to peer guy. He's doing some things. We're trying to figure out what his motives are. Um, and we'll have our own little personal goals. I'm trying to figure out some religious shit. Uh, Tobias. I'm part of that religious shit, but also hate yep. vampires. <laughs> yep, he is a racist. Um, and Neri is, uh, yeah, he's got some shit going on. Do you I'm mean put words in his mouth about it. Knows? Yeah, that guy. Yep, him. And you say that we're... What is our? What do you think is our relationship to him? Oh, we know you don't um, like him. Yeah, we don't really know. That's a, uh, we sort of. I think one of your sisters had like a memory wipe, and the other one just didn't want to tell us or something. So just finally realized, my sisters and I had our memories wiped a long time ago. Uh, I am the only one, from my knowledge, that remembers. Um, long ago, the three of us, like you, had traveled around with a man. <laughs> and we fought many a creatures. You know, we did all these small little quests, protected the land. But, uh, we, we fought all these various creatures. We fought... Dragons, minotaurs, krakens. You can imagine it. We there's a chance we fought it at one point, and there came a time where we were fighting this one creature. I I don't remember what it was, but he made us forget about the fight and leave. And before we knew it, we woke up in a location without him. None of us, all of us thought that it was just the three of us in this party. But eventually, I remembered the truth. Uh, my sisters, on the other hand, don't know. We've all suffered quite a bit. One of my sisters at one point had died due to these creatures, and we were able to bring her back. But Hypnos was one of the reasons... We had fought against him many times, and he has always been a force to reckon with. Yeah, he does seem pretty strong. Um, we fought him once, and uh, yeah, he's sort of like, that was a little while ago, to be fair, you know, we've sort of grown a bit stronger since then, but... He, he did fuck us up pretty bad. Um, but yeah, we don't have any like overarching political goals, if that's the sort of thing that you're talking about. We just sort of go around and um, make our way in the world. You know, we all have our own little personal goals. We don't have exactly any overarching big players here. Yeah. We're still trying to figure out who the big players are and what they want. Well, if it's Hypnos, it's most likely chaos and fight, bringing helping others achieve their goals in order to further achieve his ultimate goal, whatever that may be. But Do you know what it is, really quick? Sorry to interject. That would be super helpful. It depends. He can change from time to time, but it always... He always likes to manipulate people and leave them within the last second. Whatever it is. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. Yeah, talk to him. noted. So whatever... Um person he's, he's working he's... with, I wouldn't assume that he's staying with them for too long. Yeah, well, he did uh, outspokenly want to, like, topple the leadership of Ekron, so, you know, maybe you actually have more in common with him than you realize. Oh, you I realized. don't doubt that he wants to do that, but not before making sure that chaos is afoot. Right, is he like, a, is that his thing? He's like, a, oh, chaos, no order, is that I'd his type of more... deal? How should I put this? Making sure that people feel as if their dreams are being reached. Helping people achieve 
what can feel as if it's impossible, but yet when he knows that they would be heavily punished and it would be something that in the end helps achieve some goal of his, whether it be some crazy creature uh, that is summoned or some something along those lines, expanding the um, the unfei that that would be or the unseely that may be his expanding the control of the unseely would be unless he's like a fairy guy um i wouldn't say that he's necessarily a fairy guy but his work has taken him in the past to those that wish to harm others in in ways that cause universal unbalance damn <clears throat> you ever thought about killing him uh of course we, we all had i mean we had fought him multiple times but it's not as simple as that and at this well point, you know oh are you are you you're retired now you don't do that anymore well, uh, at this point we we do live our own separate lives but also there are items of ours that he would like and if we were to come together and he were to take them, it would be a bit more difficult for us. Right, okay. Okay, cool. Alright, well, sure <clears throat> it's great to meet you. I'm sure that he's met many adventures and tried to tell them to kill us in order to take our items. Most likely why there are bounties for my sisters and I. True, probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, judging just from, you know, kind of what we know of the adventures in that city, I'm not sure there's anyone quite powerful enough to take you on, but... There have been a couple that have tried, but... Yeah. The weather up here, the creatures up here, and, well, my uh, little minions, as you experienced, have definitely make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, was that like a passion project for your boyfriend? We know, by the way. <clears throat> uh, no, that was just something before I had met. <laughs> that was something much, much before I had met uh, Gallic. I had created my little world as a form of protection for my door, for my doorstep. If anyone had opened it, they would be flung into it, and he just fell in love with the world. Yeah, and it worked for him. Fair enough. Was he already a baker at that point? Or? I think at that point he was uh, looking for a new path in life. What had happened before, he's mentioned about how his friends had left and he was the only one still there and wishing to bring happiness to a city that was lacking it. Cool. You know anything about Swallow Beak? And why the trade stopped? Well, uh, I have heard various creatures in the area have been odd lately. Um, that could always be right. uh, one thing. Uh, there's, of course, Swallowbeak. Well, given its location, I'm sure that if there's any anyone that wishes to harm others, would of course love to go there and do just that. It's not even too big, so it'd be quite easy to do. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I am, I'm not sure if there's anything else you'd like to know. Um, do you know anything about uh, the religion of the UNT people or vampires? Or uh, like old kung fu guys and dragons. <laughs> I think that covers all of our bases, doesn't it? I mean, I had fought quite a few dragons in my time. Uh... There you go, Tobias. I, I shove him forward. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to this lady about dragons. Uh, oh, I, I mean, I my uh, my old mentor. He was secretly a dragon and uh, taught me. Maybe she met him. Oh, no. Ask. Uh, Ask about that. Well, you know, he 
just teach kung fu at a monastery, but uh, I don't even know if I've given bro a name. I'll be honest. You know, many years Greg. ago, there are rumors that a dragon had lived in this area, uh, up in these mountains, even. Um, yeah, this seems like a pretty chill spot for a dragon. It yeah, would be quite like, some, like a like an ice spire peak or something. That would be cool. It's a dragon. Yes. Um, I remember back when. I remember when we were traveling, the man that we traveled with made frequent stops to villages and, and locations and tried to bed many of the women, regardless of race. He was one of those. Oh, that's fun. Whoa. He fathered many children, from what I had heard, of many different offspring. Um, How is this relevant exactly? No, it just made me remember of, of the times that of when we were adventure. I don't reminisce of these times much. Alright. Did he, like, go on to turn into, like, a weird dragon monk guy or anything like that? Or, like, a... Uh, well, after yeah. he had erased our memories, we never heard or saw from him again. Oh, oh your companion erased your memories. That's, that's dog. You hate to hear that. It does happen. I thought it was a guy you were fighting. Like, a creature no, you were fighting. We were we were fighting a creature, and he had decided that it was too dangerous for us and had uh, erased our memories. Oh, do you remember his name? We'll, like, keep an eye out. Well, that's, like, part of the memory shit, but I thought you I, remembered. No. I don't remember, necessarily, but I remember that it started with an E. An E. All right. Chill. Okay. Noted. But he was a man Checks that backstory. you could, when you could go, if if you went somewhere, he made himself quite known. He had one of those presences, and he always was able to light up the room, and it was just, mm. it was just one of those. You don't have any other details on him? I'm sure that there is... Would it, would it be... Could it be Eccleton? Does that sound sound familiar? No, not, not Eccleton no. Zaleth. I, I know that name. What about uh, Ethel Morius, Lethel Morius, Zethel Morius III? Does that sound familiar? No, that's quite a ridiculous name. I doubt anyone would have a name like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All good. No, all good. That's quite a silly name to have thought of on the spot. Yeah, he's some fucking guy we met. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just, che just checking off the list. You, know, you never know in these types of situations. Of course, of course. Well, uh, but you know, this was many, many moons ago. I, I'm not even sure. Oh I'd yeah. Still be mm -hmm. around. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're still around. Yes. Well, we have reasons for that. Yep. But uh, as for as you mentioned, Yuan Ti, I I'm, I don't know too much about your uh, culture. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's all good. A lot of people are pretty racially ignorant in these lands, so like it's not not really that big of an issue. I thought that your left leaning stance on on colonization would would have led you to educate yourself on foreign peoples. Yeah, I, I've, but in, in especially honesty, those indigenous to the never... in, especially those indigenous to to the mm. continent like like my race, but. Look, I guess uh, you know you can't read a book by its um, its initial political statements, can you? In all honesty. Yeah, look, that's um, we're pretty xenophobic, so yeah, understandable. And uh, you, with the dog? Uh, just trying to find someone. Just making my way through this. He's just waiting, you... man. Who are you trying to find? A special someone? Yeah, my master. Oh, I see. Doesn't, doesn't sound like you've met him. You can never be too sure. Yeah, you should ask. I mean, have you met a man or know of a man named Zovan? A man named Zovan. A man named Zovan, no. But. What about a woman? No. What about someone of an ambiguous gender? Uh, I don't think so, but I feel like I've heard something akin to that before. But it's been quite a while. I'd have to... Oh. 
look around I mean, and take some time to remember. It seems like he's had close encounters with uh, your sisters as well, so I wouldn't be entirely surprised. I see. And were you drawn to the area to find him? Drawn? Uh, I guess that's a way of saying that. I mean, we were we were there on a on a quest, and happened to find traces of him. I weren't particular particularly looking for him at that moment, but yeah, it's like everyone like significant or powerful. We sort of ask for clues about like our little personal goals. Course, it's like a weird course. thing we have. Not really sure why we do it. Of course. Yeah. No, I, I remember what it was like being an adventurer, doing things like that. Um, I see. Interesting. And Sylvan, what a unique name. What kind of name is it? Uh, what do you mean? Well, is it? Well, is he a halfling like yourself, or? He was a halfling. Yeah, he was a halfling. I although see, it, the name was a little strange. Mm. It's not. It wasn't a name that we'd heard much in the village before. I, I remember right, he wasn't from the village originally, um, but settled us and I see. kind of raised me. So. I see. And how did you find this little one? Talking to the... To, about your dog, yes. Oh, uh, well, uh, he's also kind of related in that sense. Um, one day my master disappeared and uh, left behind us... Uh, this egg. Well, no, he left the egg, which eventually uh, hatched into a He's cocoon a dog. Here. Not a dog. <laughs> I thought he was a dragon. He I've always thought he. I've always thought he was a dog. You know many other animals. I'm just. I'm just wondering. Is this just no. like he's not having no. a word for it? Nah, no, we were more prone <laughs> to human sacrifice I, than animal sacrifice. To, where I'm from, uh, I, it's been quite some time since I've had. I've been down into a large gathering i'm not sure how times have changed and well i've never seen a creature like this one before so i'm not necessarily sure um how often do you leave the mountain miss oh, she's just asking her if she's a shut-in bro well i haven't left in quite some time i do daily strolls i was at swallow beak what maybe 10 years ago i think it was oh yeah daily strolls yeah well, I happens go a little bit out, but it doesn't mean I go all the way down. But you know, when you stay up here and you have a big muscular man coming to you every once in a while, why do you need? That's to... enough. <laughs> why do you need to uh, leave? Yep, fair enough. Um... Especially when those that wish to hunt you may be in the area. Look. If any of them are, we'll tell them that we don't know where you are. Or we'll, like, kill them or something. Depends how bad they are. Yeah. Um, but, unfortunately, in the adventuring business, I'm sure that you know this, time can be money. So we might have to he head out to Swallow Beak to figure out what's going on there. there was and if it's one anything one that affects you, we'll come back and we'll let you know, but there was one prob thing probably not. That, uh, had interested me that you had mentioned. You had mentioned yep. vampires. Oh yeah, I yeah. Hate those guys a lot. Yeah, this guy hates them. Yeah, they he's really racist. Yeah. No, I'm not. It's not a race. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of a distaste for them as well, just based on our run-ins. I see. They've been showing up more lately and corrupting these ogres and things like that too. We had fought vampires at one point, I believe. Quite interesting that they've returned. Uh, do you know the name of the vampire that had hunted you, your master, or no? Uh, honestly, no, I... He just kind of invaded my monastery when I was out, and I got back, and it was just a massacre. I see. Well, uh... Be wary when fighting these creatures, as you never know what form they may take to escape. Especially the stronger ones. That's yeah. That's good advice. Are are you a vampire? Yeah. Are you are you a creature, Renan? Uh, she goes to put her. Have you charmed Golic, and that's why he's like using vampire charms? She goes to put her hand over her mask and takes it off. As you pretty much, oh my God. as you see that, like VTuber face reveal, literally, as you 
could see that the face is pretty much that of a water genasi. Oh. However, it is extremely scarred. It Damn. Is very heavily scarred, especially around the lips and the right side. She got, she got fucked up uh, by something. No, I myself um, am not a vampire. I have not uh, charmed anyone. Miss, why do you wear a helmet if you don't go outside very often? Well, hey, man, that's a that's a that's a weird question. She puts the mask back on, and just says, "Well, when you she d <laughs> when you've been disfigured like this, it just makes you feel normal." She does it so she's anonymous while she's protecting uh, Gotham from villains. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean no no harm. I just you know proves you're a strong fighter. It's good to show your scars. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like telling a woman she should smile more. By the way, it's like a bit of a weird thing to say. <laughs> let be, let people express themselves how they want, brother. <clears throat> especially this especially this, this um <laughs> politically ambiguous person. We don't we don't know what their stances are. Well, I, I meant no harm in that, just, you know. Anyways, um, we'll get going. We'll leave you, leave you, uh, you know, leave your home. And um, anything's going on that you need to know about, we'll let you know. I see. What time of day is it? Yeah, I was literally about to ask uh, that. <laughs> I thought we were trying to seek a refuge, but maybe I'm tripping. You guys, let me see. Yeah. If I wrote it down. Probably could use a rest, see if we could you stay here for the night. How long at night. And I guess, like, how long were we in the spaghetti dimension as well? You know, that's a great question. Uh, okay, so I think you guys, like, went up there, like, midday, I think. Um... Yeah, I thought we were in the house, like, at daytime. Yeah. I won't, I yeah, won't so lie. I'd say maybe, like, it's like evening ish, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well are we trying to sleep here or or no? Um Yeah, if we can. Well, I'm not asking. I just said we're leaving, so that would be no. a bit weird. I mean we could We can I'd say that. <laughs> um I mean, you could say, okay, unless, I, I don't, so, there yeah, is a yeah. spell for that, by the way. Whoa, it's like whoa. Gift of the Gab or something. You can just, like, erase some cunt's memory for the last five seconds of conversation <laughs> and say, say some different shit. Um, it's a fucked spell. I, I wanted to take it, but I don't think it's on my spell list. We haven't been outside yet, though, since we've gone back, right? Correct. Um, I mean, we we don't know how long we, we were in there. It could be night, right? Yeah, is it night time right now, by the way? In That's a, a good question in a few before we hours, leave. It would be. It is starting to settle. Yeah. Is it like, are the night times like pretty fucked around these parts? Is it like not good to be, be out at night uh, or well, anything you never like know that? When the Yetis may attack any creature. Oh, that's lovely. Fuck yeah, that doesn't sound good. You mind if we like camp in your stable or something to have, to like rest out I have the night? I a few guest rooms if you wish, or you could stay down here by the fire for the night. I yeah, look, if if you're willing to offer, we'll get out of here in the morning. That's fine with you, of course. You won't, like, stay for breakfast or anything. If you wish to stay, that's fine. I don't mind necessarily. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, we've got, I mean, you know... makes pretty good breakfast. Yeah, we could probably stay for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, these guys want to stay for breakfast. Sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. It's been quite some time since I had guests other than Golic. It's good to speak to others every once in a while. Cool. Uh, is there anything else you wish to discuss before you stay the night? Um, you know anything about the, uh, Shadowfell? The Shadowfell? Well, you were talking yeah. about the vampires earlier. Yeah, is that like, are they, are they connected? Uh, yes, the vampires do tend to come from the Shadowfell. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, fair enough. Do you know anything about like, uh, like big dick vampires, like the cosmic vampires, like vampires not for like human guys, but for like 
deities and stuff like that? Is that a thing that you're sort of privy uh, to? I myself have never experienced a thing like that. Well, yeah, you'd probably be dead if you did. <clears throat> um, but I wouldn't be surprised if something along those lines existed. Cool. No, that's all good if you don't know anything about it. Just figured I'd ask. Uh, while, like, uh, while Setsu was asking about this stuff, are the, uh, the other two just still in the room chilling, or you guys want to explore? Or, or... No, I, I mean, um... I don't really want to go through her house. <laughs> okay. At this point. Yes, the Shadowfell is an interesting place, a place full of darkness and negativity, but the vampires are from there. They wish to... I know back when we had fought them, they had wished to expand their domain. Um, which right. Oh, I thought it was like a dimension, so it was like infinite yes. in its own right. Yes, but, but like, you know, how do you get more you than can... infinite? Yeah, type thing. Well, if you can corrupt another plane of existence. Ah, uh, double, double infinite. Yes. Mm -hmm. Double jeopardy. There you go. You not get more citizens to rule over, or whatever it is. Especially if you're not the um, top dog, why not make yourself the top dog somewhere else? And, and then she looks at you, you. No offense. Do you know how to get there by any chance? I, I, like I've got some, I've got some beef with the Shadowfell oh. as a sort of a general concept. That's an I don't like it. Question. Um, I'm sure I think that there are. Why, yeah, that's why I asked it. I'm sure there are uh, dimensional gates or portals of some kind at various locations. I, I myself have never traveled. Or needed to travel there, but um So if vampires come from the Shadow Fell, yes. just spitballing ideas here. Mm -hmm. And also there's dimensional gates somewhere. Mm -hmm. Probably if we capture a vampire, not like one that was turned on this plane. Correct. Mm -hmm. we, we might be able to find out. Okay. Uh, well, I see some depends. torture as in our future boys. Aren't, uh, haven't been here for quite some time. If they've been here for quite I some see time, some but... I see some torture in our future is all I'll say. You are quite dark, aren't you? Yeah, it's kind of fucking We're racist on as fuck, by the way. <laughs> I yeah, I'm completely, um, completely a offended and b confused about your political leaning. What is this about politics? I just have my own place here and think as I do. Everything is politics. Alright, well, I'm going to go to sleep um, and and try not to to be offended by your racist remarks towards my race, so. Okay. Good night, I suppose. Good night. Thanks for letting us stay here, and, um, oh yeah, we fucking killed a gingerbread dragon in your weird yes, realm I mean, thing. Yes, that is the Hope. escape method. Okay, alright, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, she just cool, shouts, cool, cool. "Oh golly, I need a new All one." Right, yeah, I'm, fu I'm, I'm fucking leaving. Oh, I'm running. I'm getting out. I think the pasta people like. No, okay, she's gone. Is she like torturing the pasta people in that dimension? Yeah, I think she's kind of fucked. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a check on their door at night. I'm just kidding. Yeah, can I like cast alarm or something so I don't get fucking lynched in the night? No, I was just kidding. I just wanted to hear if they were clapping. <laughs> That's fucking weird. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Just Dude. a regular spooky. Uh, so yeah, with that, I mean, you guys can take uh, long rest in that case. Noise. Uh, cool. Let's see what else. Um, trying to think what else. Okay. Um, did we even use that many resources? Uh, I think so. Not really. I was, was kind of lowish, yeah, but not like much. Yeah. All right. Cool. With that, in the uh, night, let's see. Actually, Nary. Mm-hmm. Can I have you roll a con save? Oh boy. I'm Bro, having a weird, weird dream. 
Okay. Okay, so Nary, at night, as you're dreaming, you begin to have a dream. C'est sure. Yes. Oh. Uh, you begin to have a dream <laughs> of yourself down on some, well, not of yourself, but uh, of, you see three women, a uh, a human. Like where this is going. <laughs> a, um, actually, wait, let me double check this before I say anything. Uh, <laughs> okay, two hu uh, no that a a human, a elf, and a water genasi. Okay. Um, along with um a masked human male, and you see them fighting against a large silver dragon. Okay, I assume I kind of recognize the three women. Um, you can tell from the you know bodily shapes that like yeah you you can kind of guess like there there's various differences you know but like you can kind of make out in a way that yeah this is kind of who what you okay. probably think it is. Do I get a read on who the dude is? Um, you can see them all working in sync together fighting this dragon as if they're one unit that has no issues working together and as you see them fighting against this dragon you know they're working together you see you know some of them in the the, the women in the back they're they're shooting off spells one of them is shooting various ice icicle blasts at this dragon one of them is creating little puppets to fight for her Another one is using the vines in the area from the trees to try and tie up this dragon and, and, and you know, bind it to the earth so that it can't fly off. Meanwhile, this uh, man is using his uh, swords and coming up close and slashing away at this dragon. Mm -hmm. And you see that it gets to a point where they eventually all stop, the spells all stop. The dragon is unbinded, and they all just start laughing and fall back, and are enjoying one another. They're one another's company. I was Whoa. gonna say, like, yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> the fuck, bro? Okay. And at, at this point, you hear a voice in your head, um, just saying, "Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon." I want you to take the prodigy. My prodigy with you and protect it oh my god oh my so god the dragon oh my god okay uh as <laughs> behind like he, the the dragon takes its tail and shows an egg to oh my god. human male um at which point the scene fades away Mm -hmm. And let's see what else. You see another scene of the human male fighting against, again, a dragon. And you see the three women behind him as he, uh, let me double check this really quick as well. Um, it is this. Okay. As he begins to mutter something under his breath, and as he like waves his hand, almost as if a Jedi mind trick, against all three of them, and you see them start to walk away, and you see him charge towards this dragon, attempting to plunge his sword deep into the dragon. You see that they're all inside a cave, and. At that point, the dream fades uh, once more. Okay. And you wake up in the morning. Interesting. <clears throat> um, is your dragon master guy, was he a silver dragon too? I'm going to be honest. No idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> well, fuck it. Ball, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, good morning, guys. Anything weird happen in the night? Any revel revelation inducing in that happen in the night? <laughs> Funny you should say that. What a strange question. You know, you know I have I have a way with, uh, about these things. <laughs> I've been told before. Um, I had a dream about the three witches. Kind of interesting. Nothing, nothing good, I hope. Well, they were fighting, and then some fun stuff happened. Ooh. Um, but then they got retconned. Um, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Doesn't sound very revelatory, then. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I guess well, I'm thanks. Not sure. Thanks for thanks for wasting our fucking time. <laughs> it was an interesting dream. Uh, Alright, well, I guess we leave and go check out this town, hey? After breakfast. Oh, you fucking... You gotta, you gotta, gotta have the breakfast. I don't really want to talk to this woman again. She's kind of racist. I'm racist, and she's way more racist than me. <laughs> that true. <laughs> Alright, I guess we go have breakfast. You see, as you guys come down to where the dining room would be, um, Golic is preparing some food. As he hears you all um, coming down, he says, And what would you all like for breakfast today? Uh, you, you had these one pastries that one time that were meat flavored. Oh yes, okay, I can make. You you want for yourself? Yeah, if we could do that. Okay, okay. And uh, for the other two? Uh, not eggs. Not eggs. <laughs> I don't know this recipe, but I can find something without eggs in them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to my race because, like, we like our my race like lays eggs, so no, it's no, weird I, to eat I them. I understand. Have to have to accommodate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a culinary of course, of sort course. of consideration. Yeah. Just uh, I need to get high protein. It's good. Okay. Not eggs, though. Not eggs. Okay. Also, not eggs. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if mine would have eggs in it. Well, it's ambiguous meat flavor, so you don't know what the fuck it has in it in general. Yeah. Uh, so he starts cooking some stuff up for you guys, uh, and so for uh, Kappa or er, for for Setsulu and for um, and for Tobias, he's got some oatmeal for you guys. That is not high in protein. It can be. If you have like protein. Protein oatmeal, I guess. The oatmeal is actually not bad. That's I have that a lot. Oh, if, uh... all right. All right. Um, and also, like on the side for um, Tobias, he's gonna put like a little bit of yogurt. Nice. And then uh, for Nary, it takes a little bit longer, but he eventually makes some of those meat uh, pastries. <laughs> Delicious. Um, and he goes up to Zakun and gives him one. Uh, as well. Let me see here. Dope, dope, dope. So, how did it all go yesterday? Everything okay? You were in what you want? Um, I mean, I don't think we really came here intending to learn anything, but yeah, it went alright. You know, I have not seen you guys in, in, in the shop in a long time. Yeah, um, Arch, oh, like, fucked off, so we, like, Sort of wanted to lay low a bit, you know? Well, I would have fucked off. He got banished from the city. Yeah, oh, that's I, I the same heard, thing. I heard what happened. He, and, uh, he's not very smart. No. And, yep. Yeah. And we've just been pretty busy, you know, traveling all, all around and meeting, uh, meeting your girl's sisters, actually. Oh, we are not dating. Uh, uh you can think no? that if you want, Matt. Well. You are always welcome in, in, in my shop. I have. Do you like, do you do you like pay her for this? Then? Well, she helps get uh, <laughs> my ingredients. 
and that's the extent of right. Mm, okay, mate. Am I correct in in my notes that we saw him getting on the thing to like leave? Right, I wrote down that he like gave the people at the stall the ticket. Yeah, or something. Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, we actually uh, saw you on your trek here. Oh, we could have gone to say hi. We could have gone together. Oh, oh you know, we we bought a horse. He's actually we did horse. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we bought a fucking horse and a carriage, so and, and we got a bit distracted. Did you decide to name your horse. Uh. S Samuel L. Jackson the second, like, I think. I, yeah. I, I don't get it, but I, I kind of liked quite it. That's a uh, long name. You know, yeah. you just go for like Ezekiel or Spot or something. I feel like most people do not go for Ezekiel, brother. I'm not going to lie to you. But you get the point. It's usually a very short name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, you know. I was asked to give you all a little bit of a parting gift, if that is okay. And maybe this means you will come by shop more as well. He gives, like, a little big yeah, smile. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Let me see what he will give you guys. Oh, not that. No. Uh, let's see. Um, is it this? Yeah. Okay, I have two things for you. Um, who would like to carry it? Carry it? Well, actually, no, I can't. I'm currently overburdened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either Tobias or I can carry it. Depends. Oh depends what it is, though. Uh, so he has one bag that has like a ton of like what looks like kind of like gumballs. And the other one, he has a little box that's like maybe. Mm -hmm. Not like six inches, not not maybe not that big. Um. Yeah. Well, if you tell us what it is, then we can decide who's 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 best to carry it. Well, uh, I don't know if you saw before, but I have a lot of adventurers come to my store, and they ask for a candy that can help in uh, battle. And was well, here's a little bag of no candy way. that can help. You can eat candy, you get stronger in battle. Always. Candy is good for you. Did your, mother, this guy's did ass. your mother never tell you this? How do you think I became so big and strong? Oh, by swipes the I think to, this is like an orphan, right? By the way? Well, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Bit on the nose, that one. Go look. Uh, let me double check. I'd love to grab the bag of candy. Um, uh, let me put some of those in your inventory then. So this is going to have this many, or, okay. Candy bag. Okay, so there's that. And the other thing is, I have. No way. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I have this uh, box. You can get them, uh, you know, occasionally. It's good for um, how do you say? Relaxing, help you relax and feel better after a uh, long day. When that need... shit is drugs for when sure. You, when you need the hundred percent. He's gonna take us to the moon. Is this a sh short rest box? Yes. If you were to take a what might one might consider a short rest, you rest, you can use it. Oh, cool. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, appreciate that. We'll uh, get out of your hair and let you get back to your totally not date. Thing with your weird mistress. No offense, she's a bit racist. But she is. Never mind. You have fun. Okay. Uh, so, Neri, 
do you want to transfer while you guys are here some of your items to somebody else? <laughs> no, I'll just drop some stuff. Okay. I think it's literally just one thing I need to get rid of. Yeah. How do I get rid of this shit? Actually? Yeah, just don't camp anymore. No. Get rid of your bow, actually. I think that would help, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, that would probably help. How the fuck do I drop stuff? Uh, you can just delete it or something like that. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, if you click the lock... You have to click the little lock icon in the top right of the section you're looking at. Yeah. And then you can edit and delete. Yes. Okay, what I am underway. You, what did you uh, drop? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, but with that, you guys begin your trek back. Um... Well, continue our trek forward. Yeah, same yeah. thing, same thing. Continuing your trek um, towards Swallowbeak. Uh, it's at this point, you know, you guys get back on that road. Uh, you see footprints, as you had seen, you know, before. But you also notice, like... How should I say this? You also notice that at some points... Um, more, uh, there are like trees that are a bit more like destroyed, as if something had come in and um. That's the Yetis, I reckon. You know, swiped at them and toppled them. Just like randomly. Yeah, there's a few. I reckon that's those fucking Yetis. Dang, that's kind of racist of you. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you. I said so. It was racist. He is from, like, uh, extremely xenophobic culture. Um, let me see here. Born and bred haters, you on TR. That's why I like them so much. They like me. Um, what did I... Sorry, I'm trying to remember what I'd put in, because this was a bit ago. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So as you guys um, head out, you find sorry, I'm trying to remember what the maps are like because it's been a bit okay. Uh, okay, so as you guys begin to head out, you you know you you find all those footprints as I mentioned, um, and as you see like another area with um, the trees completely blocking the path. Now, I'll delete all this stuff. That's fine. But you see another area where the trees are completely blocking the path. So something had destroyed them, uh, just like you had previously seen. When you guys had uh, gone the other, well, the previous day. Okay. I mean, last time we got in, you guys cleared it and I kind of like, Stayed back and kept watch. We could do that again. Yeah, you kind of like sat around and did fuck all. I remember that. <laughs> I'm not strong. <laughs> I'm bad at yeah, this kind not. of stuff. <laughs> You're very strong. My strength of All right, age. well, I guess we uh go and, go and tear, tear the bitch down. Yeah, so as we you guys begin once again trying to get rid of you know, the blockade of trees, you begin to see um, you begin to wow. see a group of if it'll load. Uh, <gasps> what the? <laughs> Yeti. Is that a card? Hmm? That, is that a card? That's crazy. A card? Shut up. Okay. What are you talking about? Don't talk to me later. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Alright guys, let's uh let's yeah, let's see. talk this out. 
I'll choke this out, yes. You, you just hear, like, the Chewbacca roar back towards you. To you. <laughs> Is that it. a language? Can I understand it? Is it, um... Uh... Where the fuck is my language? Is yeah, it abyssal, common, think. draconic, or undercommon? No. Oh, oh GG. <laughs> scammed. Scammer we get scammed. <laughs> um, but with that, go ahead and uh, roll initiative. <laughs> Damn. These bitches don't want to chat. The Yeti. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you oh. fucking come to <laughs> <Oops. Oops. laughs> Come on, With that, Tobias, you're up first. How how many candies do you have? Uh, I think it's ten. Ten, yeah. Okay. Oh fuck yeah! All right, I'm gonna run fifty feet forward okay. and eat candy. <laughs> okay. Let's see how these work against some yetis. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting immediately. I post it. He has like three. Yep. He basically, just pulls the <laughs> the magic. Oh, <laughs> magic Christ! <laughs> oh, magic candy. But I wouldn't know that probably. So no. <laughs> he just said it makes me stronger. So. Yeah. So go ahead, roll the. Um, I think in the same way that you guys have rolled the fumble table, the okay. well, uh, magic table should be in there. Oh my god. I think this should be... Yeah, this is a bonus action. Okay. <laughs> so as you eat this candy, right? And it's it's like... Uh-huh. um, It's really cold to your mouth. And as you like open up your mouth trying to like get some heat in there, you just release this cloud out of your mouth. Okay. <laughs> is it just a cloud? Or is it like a fog cloud? Well, it... I mean, yeah, fog cloud. Yeah, fog cloud. You can't fog cloud send it on yourself. Yeah. Oh, damn. Um, okay, how big is that? It is a 20 foot it? radius. Fuck me, can't. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know where You're we fogging are. up the whole gap. I am. Uh, oh, thank you. Radius? Or is it a. How's it not like a cone? radius. Oh, okay. oh wait, yeah. Does it like blow all around me, or is it like twenty? Yeah, feet it's centered on you, yeah, so, so it does go all around. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Uh, cone. No, so. I was just trying to flavor it like that way. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was like my bonus action, but I don't really have a lot of actions. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll just stand in the middle of my cloud. <laughs> I'll take the dodge action. Okay. <laughs> Screw take. You begin to see these red, uh, these yetis. One of them is going to run just straight into this fog cloud. Um, that's fine. The other one is going to like run past the. Um, if you fucked up Sam, I'm gonna lose it. The um your your guys' horse and just keeps going past as if Oh. Yeah, and you guys oh. realize there might be something bigger than these two Yetis coming. Oh uh narrative. That's not what you want to This is crazy. Um I'm gonna go read my water beer back. Are these Yetis animals? They are Yetis. So I kinda wanna cast speak with animals and ask them what the fuck they're running from. You can try. They're gonna Chewbacca. They're gonna go like passing it. Yo, what are you running from? Should we get out of the way? You just hear that Chewbacca roar <laughs> <laughs> back. <laughs> That's an action. God damn it. Well, okay. Then I'm gonna yell to everyone else. Um, well, let's shit, get, get out of this bitch. Yeah, get back to the cart. Uh, I assume we didn't clear, finish the tree yet. Nope. So we didn't even start. Let's just, yeah, let's just get cart and let's fucking hightail it. I don't, let's not fight if we don't have to. Get a back up. Yeah. It seems like we're going to have the yetis. So. I don't want to get in the, in the way of that. Alright, well, I. Um, I'm in the fog cloud. Do I have to do the weird directional shit? I'm in one wherever. Yeah, you're on the edge. I don't care. 
All right, well, I'm going to come over here and take the hot action. Okay. Uh, okay. Anything at that after that or no? Nope. With that, it's at this point you begin trees breaking in the back. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, go on. He's low, Twitter. It's cool. Put it on over here. Okay, there we go. What? Uh, oh, it's mutant. As you guys begin to see the larger, a uh, slightly larger yeti, um, much darker skin, um, but it's also on all fours rather than on, um, you know, walking on its two hind legs. Wow, Croft. Um, Making the white ones the good guys and the skinned ones the bad guys. Notice across its belly, it's got another mouth, and you notice its horns are like almost mold. So with that, mm -hmm. and and you, it, you just like talking things like out towards you guys. So with that, Tobias, go ahead. That's okay. okay I'm hidden. here. Okay, on this like to this slide like to. For, like ask for clarification so when we were clearing out the trees last time it took us a while and it didn't even finish correct for me um i kind of like lure him to the trees so he can trample over all of them and break now them you're thinking us. but you guys wanted to run away and i'm pretty fast though all considered I'm probably out of pace all right uh, how much is this? 20 feet? Oh, but I'm in the middle of my thing. Do you want me to, like, roll? Oh. What, what is it? A, a yeah, D8? Just nine? D8, yeah. Yeah, roll that D9. That doesn't exist. Uh, so that would be top right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna run outside the fog cloud. This direction. 15 feet. Another 15 feet, so I make contact with the creature. And I'll, um, can I try and intimidate the creature? Uh, the, like, mutated one? Yeti, yeah, the, the mutated one. Sure, what are you trying to do to intimidate it? I'm gonna let out a big, uh, like, growl, and then do, like, Your lunch is over here! I might do something if I fail, so let's... Um... Sorry. You're good. Okay. Does he look taunted? Because if not, I have a reaction. Uh... Or if not, you know, I know what I'm taunted. I would say with a 12. Um, I just don't know if I'm failing or not, I guess, is what the trigger condition is. I would say, like, he's not in, is not intimidated by you, but, like, he takes notice okay. to you. Okay. If that... can, can I do my thing anyway to kind of try and roll again? Okay, is your like, presence, you fail a charisma intimidation situation, you can use reaction roll again. Um, If you tap in the mighty presence of drag, so I want to, like, let out, like, a dragonic roar. To try again. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Hope it's higher. That'd be kind of neat. That's not higher. I just let out baby dragon roar. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I'll, um, I'll probably have my action to the end reaction. So that can be bonus action. All right, I got 20 feet more movement. I'm gonna come right over here to another goblin. Gun. Let's see what this one does. Whoa, whoa! I'm chewing my gum, bro. Why don't you? Yeah. Uh, it's gum. You find yourself starting to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
Don't get me. My beer. <laughs> yeah. Right, you good. begin uh, starting to flow. And... Wait, once you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Am I just hovering? Or like yeah, once... you start floating up. Um, you start rising, 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 and you're now like... Okay. Um, Above the air. <laughs> Uh, so with it's gonna be the the thing is gonna dude. What if help the yeti help fight with us? With this, you see the Rod. yeti that's in the fog cloud, like comes all the way over here. It's like under me. <laughs> yes, he is under you at this point. Um, Why do you run? However, the one is going to be. Their turn. They're just. Ah, uh, da da da. Get Samuel out of here. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, what's the movement if you're in a cart? Yeah. The, like, I think you can of just course. control the cart so it's. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm asking, is that 100 feet? Um, much the move, so that should be uh, this horse moves 40, is what I have listed. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try to get the music. Well, no, it's gonna fly off, get a little closer to the yeti, yeah, gonna try to intercept him. Uh, me and the horse are gonna try to get the fuck out of there because I want Samuel to, you know, get fucked. Um, I cannot control the horse, so kind of uh, back that, that way. Yeah, that works. Um, I guess I'll start shooting the big Yeti, scary one. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. Jesus. Three fire. Uh, don't re roll any of that. No, that's good. I'll add. Infuse strike. A little bit extra fire. Meanwhile, the first person to hit creatures, Nary, and it just chases Nary down. <laughs> well, I'm on a horse, so if it starts coming, I can still fuck it up. Okay, pack number two. Sixteen. Hit as well. Dope, dope, dope. Jeez. Uh, don't like twenty-two. Yeah, I'll take twenty-two. And then, okay. I guess yeah. Zakun's gonna move his feet then. I like, guess he's gonna take dodge action because he can't make the up. Uh, with that, it'll be. At it to the ground, leaps up in the air, and will like in his. Um, did he pass the coon? It'll pass through the coon. So... Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, it's like a jump, all right. It's also, the coon reused his reaction already. <laughs> then he's going to use the rest of his distance to dash all the way towards you. Lovely, so yeah. What else? Yeah, get all the way towards you. So have fun with that. Uh, um. All right. I'm hiding. Okay. What can I do while I'm hiding? It's a good use of my turn now that I've been hiding. Sleep. Nah. Uh. I can. Um, probably cost a 
Octash's mind whip on the big yeti. Okay. I'd, I'd sent it in chat. DC 16 intelligence saving throw. If he can make Will fail. Try. It will fail. Okay. It is not suffering the effects, and I do my damage. Bonus action, Hexblade's Curse um, on the Big Yeti. Hexblade's uh, Curse, Usability, I end my turn. Hexblade's Curse. It just happens. Okay. With that, it's... Yep. Hating. Yeah, yeah, hold on, move. With weapon, it works. You can only move uh -huh. by pushing or pulling against a within reach. Fuck. You can uh, uh... change your altitude up either direction. Can go up or down. I could land, and then, and then, and then, would I go back up twenty feet at the end of my turn? No. Go down, like, yeah, it's like technically wild. I can't move, man. Yeah, you're kind of stuck. Um, like I can land and run at him, but it's like he's already. See, the thing is, he's so fun if I can move. I can be the world's highest pilot driver on him, right? If I just go up. But... <laughs> um, hold on, let me check something. When you use a step balloon, the step balloon... I mean, man, this one blows. Um, like bubble gum. Um, like I, I don't I have any like propel myself. Yep, you're just stuck up there. <laughs> I will feed more up. Okay. And shout That's out to the you. monster once again. Okay. Hey, stupid! Look at the big head under me! Come get him! He's gonna say, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. No intimidation. Not bad either. This man is focused on the Shit. Um, do I eat another gum 40 feet in the air to see what happens? Is the question? <laughs> no. Nah. Like, what would it do? Like, might as well. I'm assuming I can buy more in town. It'd be kind of funny. So you like put another one in your mouth, hoping that, you know, maybe it'll let you land. I thought these would help me fight! Nothing happens. What? Read the what does it only say? The last part. Once affected by two pieces of candy, you cannot oh my be affected God. by any more until the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done that either. It was just blowing bubbles. Like gum. But yeah. Ah, shit. All right, sorry guys. I'm not trying to be useless to those. They're good. So with that, it is going to be the Yeti's turns. They are going to, you know, run off into their own directions. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Uh, 
Nary. Yeah. What's up? Uh, I mean, I'll probably pull out the rapier. Like the this would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not a great situation to be in. I'm not doing that with you. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, yeah. Right here. Hey. Uh, yeah. Um, do it again. Oh wait, well, fuck. Damage. <laughs> yeah, I thought this, this damage was the first one. Okay. Nine damage. <laughs> hey, but I crit damage for the second one. And piercer, right? Don't you get to roll extra dice when you crit? That's oh, is that back? No, what? that just lets you re-roll shit. No, it does. It, it does. does it? It does. On ping damage, you roll extra die. Features. Well, we should, yeah, I should get figured. To when you you then. get an extra dog. Yep. Okay. Big. Stab it in the mouth hole. So that's a D8. Cut off one of its horns, even though typically rapies don't have a very of an edge. Neat. Okay. So we got the extra, extra five inch. You start seeing this chasing after you. Uh, you know, a couple bows. Uh, a couple of arrows, cut it. Now you're cut it quite a bit, but um, it's out and it is ace and lovely, lovely. lovely. It will. Uh, Unless you got anything else. I'm not. Yeah, the coon's gonna fly over to buy it and give him something to grab on. <laughs> I assume yeah, because he's levitating, you know, waiting, and we can essentially use the coon as a flying. Man. He's a little kickboard in the water. <laughs> but I'd have to move on, like, his turn something, probably, right? Or something like that. Would you allow that crap? I think it would just be fine. Your turn. Just say he's your mount now. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So with this, it's going to be the Yeti's turn. If it takes its fist back, it will start doing a barrage at you. Lovely. It's going to be yes. one that hits. That means... <laughs> That'll be <laughs> two that hits. Uh, I don't want to do this. Actually, wait. Does this not? Oh no, it does. Okay, okay. Fist attack on you, and just the one. Okay. Uh, okay. That'll be. Baby, that is going to be twenty damage. Fist that punches Empty. you. As you feel like this fist punch you, and then as it punches you, you feel like this cold shock hit your body. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you see this mouth on its stomach open up and try and attempt to bite you as well. Lovely. Uh, that you're able to dodge, given that you're like a okay. little bit on, on the carriage, so it's a little bit harder for it to do. Uh, Setsulu, you're up. Cool. Um, I can reach it. Um, I'm going to go up to it. And sorry, did it take a bonus action that round? Because it's not allowed to. Uh, no, it just has multi-attack. Okay. Um, I am going to, I believe, cast haste on myself, the classic. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to use my, uh, like, action thing that haste gives me that I can only do an attack with, mm -hmm. um, tasks like to do a long sword attack. Okay. Which 
Uh, oh, I should use my. Hold on, I'll just use the pipe blade. Um, attack normal. All right, that's a crit because of hexblade's curse. Um, Hell yeah. So. Uh, 13 damage, and then, uh, I will quicken spell booming blade, I think. Okay. Oh, 13 also gets an extra 3 added on from, um, Hexblade Curse, so it's actually 16. Okay. And then I quick and spell Booming Blade. Uh -huh. that and I roll an 11. Ah, uh, GG. Okay. That, that is my turn. Wait, I just realized, so I can only move 20 feet up or down? Correct. I can't, I can't even try and suplex him. Uh, while you're floating, correct. Or, you can choose to do it. If you're at the target, you can move. You can move up or down as part of your move. Okay. 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 So the way I see it, well, it's part of my movement. movement. Yeah, if you're using, so I, I would I would have to yeah. move. And is it like slow ish, or is it like am I free falling? Um. It's a gentle float, is what it says. Brother. <laughs> I fucking hate this. I thought I was going to see... Can you get in the at will? If you get, like, you can you can do that with normal levitate. So you end the effect at will. Because this was, like, not... Probably gone. Because this was a wild magic surge? No. You would have to gone. wait it out. Oh, my fucking... Damn. Fuck. Because it's not but like I can fly spell. down on my yeah okay, bro, this is insane. Um, I still think I got a plan maybe, so I can move fifty feet with the blad. And that's within fifteen feet of that ledge. Okay, I use my my little kickboard over here to float. Oh, but I'm 40 feet up. Okay. I... Oh my god. Wait, how do I, how do I go about this? What, um... So if I am... Wait, this sucks. Alright. <laughs> I have... I have a question. Okay. So if I move 50 feet, right... And then I'm allowed to move twenty feet or like free of free of whatever, right? Can I, I like I think it's just part of your movement because the, the twenty feet was um if levitate is casted like on someone else, like you can move them twenty the feet. Up or down. Down, yeah. Oh fuck. I was hoping to springboard off of him and get like a little extra movement. I mean, I think you could probably do that to kick off of him, but then you might get stuck again in place. That's fine, I think. Wait, stuck again in place. Well, because, like, if you, like, I'm assuming, like, a diver, like, at the edge of, you know, the pool, you push mm -hmm. off of Zakun, right? But then mm -hmm. if you only get, like, a certain distance, you're going to get stuck again. In, in Oh, sure. I meant, I meant, like, on his underside. Like, like, pushing me closer to the ground. Oh. Probably, yeah. Okay, we'll just figure it out. 50 feet. With the lem. Sure, okay. Um. Because then I'm still 40 feet in the air, Good so goodness. I decided to go up for some reason. Um. This doesn't work either way. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Not much. I would think would be the end of that. Um, Marshalls, man, this is hilarious. <laughs> like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> um, this is quite the predicament. It is really. Have Zakun. It can get you closer, at least. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, you're not getting all that way there, are you? 
Um, <laughs> like, like even like even if I use my Eldritch Claw, that's only fifteen foot range, which like. I'm that vertical, I'm that horizontally, but I'm not that... How tall is the creature? No, no, how tall is the creature? It, is. it seems decently sized, at least 10 foot. It is, like... Um, it's a little bit bigger than, like, most yetis. I'd say it's, like, 10 feet, yeah. Wait, no, the Eldritch gives you 10 feet of range, and you already have 5, so you can hit 15. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. But if it's... Yeah, it's just 40 f But no, I'm 40 feet up in oh. the air. Okay, yeah. So I need to close at least 5 feet then, right? If he's 10 foot, and I'm 40, and I can aim 15. Is that the maths? I don't fucking know, bro. I'm not doing maths. Oh. Saturday. Yeah, true. Okay, hold on. So if he he's 10 feet tall, I'm 40 feet in the Come air. Come on, now. That's... that's 30 and then I have 15 foot. I need to I need to clear 15 feet then. Damn it. Okay, if I try and springboard off the coon downward while still levitating, how much distance could I get? Springboard off the coon. Downward. So like on his underside, I like hook my feet to his chest and then like bend my knees and jump off. Okay. I would probably just have you make a strength check. Okay. Contested by Zakun to see if Zakun can resist it. Or but but like, he would just get, Zakun would just get pushed away in the direction, right? Yeah, to see if Zakun would get pushed away. So I, I might need you to make a strength check contested or not strength, um strength athletics check contested athletics. by Zakun's Yeah, roll strength. Roll, I would rule is roll athletics, and that's how far you can go. Well, I, I would want it contested against Zakun to see if, because if Zakun can't push back against it, it's not going to work. Zakun's going on. But if Zakun can, like, yeah. push back against it's not, it, yeah. they're pushing my feet, okay. or I'm going down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I would say make, make an me. athletics check. Zakun okay. needs to make a strength. Save check. or. Uh... <gasps> Yeah, because he's defending against it, technically. This is some funny He's rule. decent at this. This is not as, like, an action or anything. Okay, yeah. I think Zakun is able to push back against it. Um, oh, but... so that's good. Yeah. Okay. How much lower did I get? Uh, okay, you were 40 feet up. How many feet in the air? I would say maybe, like, 20. <laughs> uh, probably, like, 20 feet feet down I'd okay say. okay yeah. did that count as an action i mean it's part of your movement right i know i mean i i spent 50 feet technically but i was <gasps> trying to like that's what i wanted it to be if anything maybe like yeah it'd probably have to be like part of a dash or something okay. um It's okay. Additional movement. Yeah. That's that's fine. Um. So do I have to go up twenty feet on the start of my turn again? No, then? no, you you're not going up. You're, you're, okay. Yeah, you're just stuck there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm within creatures ten feet. I go twenty feet down. I'm twenty feet. Um. Bonus action. Well, so that was action dash then, basically. Yes. All right. Fine by me. Um. Bonus action, Sorry, guys. Sorry, Sorry, guys. Get, get the fuck over here. Uh, Eldritch Claw Tattoo, just to invoke it for my next turn. And death. Okay. A little bit convoluted, but we got it. Uh, Neri, it's on you. Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah. More... Okay, I can remember this time because I just checked my inventory. I have this. I have Buckler. Mm -hmm. So, as a reaction, I can add plus two to my AC. Which is weird. Um, okay, I'm a rape. Okay. Uh, no, you will not. Oh, I can try. 
No, well, you will not. <laughs> not trying very hard. Damn. Dude. Uh, uh, this thing is is beast. Yeah. Um. Let's see, is Tobias? You're not to the Zakun anymore, are you? Technically, no. Okay. I guess Zakun's come in for a chomp chomp. Okay. And get like a little, little bit of damage on this turn. Okay. Just get the fucking heat off me. Sure. Okay. D damages. Okay. And I guess that's what I do. Okay. With that, it'll be the creature's turn. It will go ahead and from its mouth stomach release some gas. So I will need uh, just Nary to make a con saving throw. How about Samuel will? Yeah, Samuel will also have to make a con saving throw. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a stat block for Samuel. I do, so don't worry about that. If our horse dies, <laughs> we'll not be here. <laughs> That'd be insane. Um, you will be taking and it doesn't have okay. You will be taking uh thirteen points of uh poison damage. Oh sorry, you saved. You will be taking uh six. Six, six yeah. Samuel will be taking thirteen points of poison damage. Oh no. I don't know how many hit points of the horde have. Why is it? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, no, don't worry. I have the stat block for him. He's still up, Ooh. but he's weak. He's he's weak. Um, but with that, it is going to be Setsu's turn. You're good. I attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, so book. B -b 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 booming blade. I'm not sure if Booming Blade is taking into account my plus one from... Yeah, so Booming Blade isn't taking into account my plus one from either my sword, uh, which I shouldn't, but I don't think it's taking into account my... Oh, wait, is our... What's our proficiency bonus at the moment? Three. Yeah, so it's not taking into account my plus one from my vile thing. It should be plus eight to hit and plus seven. Okay. Uh, so I should just attack I mean, one on that. Yeah. I mean, that hits, but yeah. Cool. Uh, damage. Uh, normal. And then add three to that, so oh, 18. Would you like to finish off this creature? Oh. oh. Um, I will uh, make its mouth that goes across the stomach a little bit wider and try and chop it in half. Okay. okay. Yeah, with that, you guys are out of combat. Um, a little bit after, the fog cloud will disappear. Um, Tobias, you're stuck floating for a bit. Um, I'll just use the uh, Zakun kickboard. Yeah, Zakun can come and lead him down. You guys begin to... Um, eventually, you know, after a few more minutes pass... Eventually, you stop footing and gently are back down on the ground. Um, I that see... gum did not help at all. You guys continue uh, clearing out the path, and uh, I don't know what you guys want to do after that, but. Uh, to... Continue or rest or something? Um... I'd probably take a short. Well, if we're in the cart, I can take a short rest, like basically any time, right? Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't need to take any sort of rest. Uh, I didn't realize that cunt was so weak, though. I probably shouldn't have used. But right. I mean, I only used I one third level, one second level, and some sorcery points. So it's fine. I, I like, invoked my thing, flew over, and then did not hit the lad. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so you guys eventually make your way to Swallowbeak. Um, it's at the base of the mountain on the other side. Oh, we crossed the mountain already. Yeah, it's, okay. it's fine. It's like at the basis. So this is where you guys will be starting next time at the beginning of 
swallowbeak. Cool. cool. So yeah.